Movies aren't perfect, there's no such thing, but even great movies aren't immune to goofs and blunders, whether from the actors or the production team. However, some bloopers were so good that they found their way into the final movie for fans to enjoy. So today on Beyond the Screen, we're going to be counting down our list of the top 10 bloopers that ended up in the movie. Before we begin, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. With that, let's jump in. Coming in at 10, The Wolf of Wall Street. This 2013 crime drama was some of Martin Scorsese's and Leonardo DiCaprio's best work to date. Fact. The film is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort, from his rise to wealthy stockbroker to his fall into crime. Now, one of the greatest moments in the film is a short scene between DiCaprio and Matthew McConaughey, as the latter begins beating his chest and humming. Yep, it won't be a huge surprise to know that wasn't planned. McConaughey revealed that he was actually doing it before each take as a relaxation technique, and DiCaprio suggested using it in a scene. And honestly, it fits perfectly. You can even see DiCaprio struggling to keep a straight face during the hilarious moment. Coming in at 9, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Loose back in 2004, this drama romance follows a couple whose relationship turns sour and they undergo a medical procedure to have each other removed from their memories. In one particular scene, Kate Winslet's character disappears and the look on Jim Carrey's face is completely genuine, so no one informed him that she would leave the scene. So what we see is him legitimately trying to find her, making this moment absolutely incredible to watch and also a little bit hilarious. Coming in at 8, The Lord of the Rings. This 2001 fantasy Epic is legendary, a fan favourite among all. However, it's not immune to bloopers with a handful making it into the movie. However, the most famous occurs right at the beginning of the film as Gandalf arrives to visit Bilbo Baggins in Bag End. The wizard struggles to navigate through the hobbit sized home, fumbling around with the chandelier before suddenly slamming into a door frame. While the former was planned, the latter, however, was not. And actor Ian McKellen's surprise reaction was very much real, with Peter Jackson deeming it too good to cut out, and thus left it in. Just tea, thank you. Coming in at 7, Knocked Up. Released back in 2007, this comedy follows fun loving party animal Ben, who accidentally knocks up his one night stand. Now, the film stars Seth Rogen, Jason Siegel, Jonah Hill, and Jay Baruchel, with the film opening with a montage of the group riding on an epic roller coaster. A ride not all of them wish to be on. Jay Baruchel has a legitimate fear of rides and begged not to ride it, even bartering with the crew, agreeing to appear naked in the movie just to avoid the ride. However, the director Judd Apatow pushed him to do it regardless. And his reaction in the scene is one of genuine fear and terror, making it far more hilarious than it already was. Coming in at 6, The 40 Year Old Virgin. This 2005 comedy is perhaps one of the funniest films of all time and made Steve Carell an icon in Hollywood. As the title states, Carell's character is a 40 year old virgin, with the film following him as he attempts to lose his V card. In one of the most iconic scenes in the film, Carell's character goes to a waxing salon to rid himself of chest hair, something that they didn't want to use special effects or makeup for. That's right, the waxing we saw was entirely real, making Carell's reactions far funnier than they already were. The act to even stated that the experience was so awful he vowed to never do it again for another movie. I can respect that. Well, I'm good after this, man. Thanks, man. So ready? Yeah. It's me. So Coming in at 5, Batman the Dark Knight. This 2008 action introduced the world to Heath Ledger's Joker, a portrayal that landed the actor in an Academy Award not long after he passed away. The actor was without a doubt the star of the entire movie, with one particular scene taking the cake for his performance. We see the Joker departing a hospital, ready to explode it and watch it go down in flames. However, the explosions don't go off like they were meant to, forcing Heath Ledger to have to improvise, pressing the trigger multiple times before it finally works. Now, Chris Christopher Nolan has never confirmed that this was a mistake, but that hasn't stopped fans from speculating. Take a look for yourself. Oh. 
Coming in at 4, The Usual Suspects. This 1995 crime thriller tells the story of the twisty events leading up to a horrific gun battle on a boat, which began when 5 criminals met a random police lineup. Now, of course, the lineup scene is one of the most iconic moments, not just in the movie but also in cinema. However, the characters laughing was not supposed to happen, as the scene was meant to be a serious one. The director was apparently furious at the actors for cracking up, but they said they couldn't keep a straight face because one of them kept farting during filming. You can even see a few of them holding their noses at times. Coming in at 3, The Godfather. This 1972 crime drama may shock a lot of you with its blooper that made it into the final cut. A blooper that has become so legendary you can't imagine the film without it. One of the most iconic scenes in the film shows mob boss Don Vito Carleone delivering brutal orders while stroking a cat that is on his lap. However, the pet was never supposed to be there. The kitten somehow wound up on set on the day they were filming that scene and jumped onto the actor's lap, thus gifting us with one of the greatest moments in cinematic history. We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you ever came to the council of the house. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. Coming in at 2, Harry Potter. It is widely known that the cast of Harry Potter were encouraged to improvise on set to help create a creative atmosphere and natural conversation. However, what you may not know is that some of Draco Malfoy's most scathing lines were completely improvised, mostly due to the fact that Tom Felton would often forget his lines. One notable moment occurred in the Chamber of Secrets when Malfoy turns to Crabbe and says, I didn't know you could read. Improv at its finest. Jason Isaacs, who plays Malfoy's father, also confirmed to the LA Times that, I quote, I remember my very first day. I improvised a line. I had to kind of flounce out of a room when Dumbledore put me in my place. There was no line written, no exit line, and I'd been humiliated, and my plan had to come to nothing. As I turned to leave, I looked at Daniel Radcliffe and I said, Let us hope Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. And then Daniel, who was all of 12, stepped right up to me, looked me right in the eyes and said, Don't worry, I will be. Chills. Who would have thought that some of the most iconic lines in our favourite Wizarding World were actually improvised? And finally, coming in at number 1, Django Unchained. It was a shock when Django was released to see Hollywood icon Leonardo DiCaprio in a supporting role. However, if you've seen the movie, you'll know that the actor found an incredibly surprising way to steal the limelight. As we know, this 2012 drama western follows a freed slave as he sets out with a German bounty hunter to rescue his wife from a brutal Mississippi plantation owner, the owner being Calvin Candy, played by DiCaprio. Now, during the movie's climactic dinner scene, Calvin Candy explodes in anger and smashes his fist down on the table, breaking glass and cutting his hand, with the blood pouring out onto him and the table. Now, the injury was completely unplanned, but DiCaprio continued on regardless, with his fellow actors clearly stunned. If you watch carefully, you can see the actor carefully picking out the glass from his hand during the scene once his dialogue is over. I'm just hoping that the blood he smeared on Kerry Washington's face wasn't also real. If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is going to let those both barrels that start off. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Did you catch any of these bloopers? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later.